The Leonardo AW-139 has entrenched itself as a vital pillar of Australia's helicopter ecosystem, weaving a seamless thread through military, emergency services, law enforcement, and commercial operations since its introduction in the mid-2000s. This medium-sized, twin-engine helicopter, engineered by Leonardo, formerly Augusta Westland, is a marvel of modern aviation, boasting a top speed of 310 km per hour, a range exceeding 1,000 km, and a capacity for up to 15 passengers. Its advanced avionics and expansive cabin make it a standout, while its ability to operate across Australia's diverse landscapes, from the dense urban grids of Melbourne and Sydney to the sprawling deserts of the outback and the windswept offshore platforms, has rendered it indispensable. With a fleet surpassing 60 units, the AW-139 embodies a harmonious blend of cutting-edge technology and rugged reliability, meeting a broad spectrum of operational demands while fortifying Australia's aviation infrastructure amid evolving regional and domestic challenges. The AW-139's Australian story began in 2008, when CHC Helicopter deployed it for offshore oil and gas support, igniting its rapid rise across multiple sectors. Globally unveiled in 2003, the helicopter has since claimed the title of the best-selling model in its class, with over 1,200 units delivered worldwide, an achievement rooted in its exceptional performance and adaptability. In Australia, its allure lies in its capacity to endure the nation's harshest conditions, blistering heat, vast distances, and unpredictable weather patterns. Whether it's delivering emergency medical services in Queensland's remote reaches or conducting surveillance over Victoria's coastal waters, the AW139 has proven itself a natural fit for a country where operational needs span the gamut from urban law enforcement to disaster relief in isolated territories. This versatility has propelled its widespread adoption, reflecting a strategic and forward-thinking approach to addressing capability gaps and enhancing service delivery across public and private domains. Procurement of the AW139 in Australia has unfolded as a multifaceted endeavor, finely tuned to the unique requirements of its operators. In 2021, the Australian Army, grappling with the MRH-90 Taipan's persistent maintenance issues, leased three AW139s from Toll Helicopters under the Army Interim Helicopter Capability. Stationed with the 5th Aviation Regiment in Townsville, these helicopters, retaining civilian registration, but adorned with military markings, offer a pragmatic, cost-effective solution to maintain operational readiness. The Royal Australian Air Force has also embraced the type, operating six AW-139M variants for search and rescue, with a service life projected to extend until 2059, a testament to its enduring value. On the civilian front, emergency service providers have aggressively expanded their fleets. Life Flight Australia bolstered its roster to 16 units with three additional AW-139s ordered in 2023-2024, while Babcock Australasia and Starflight Australia added six more for EMS and SAR missions. Victoria Police, entering the fray around 2020, acquired three AW-139s, which by July 2023 had clocked an astonishing 10,000 flight hours, setting a global benchmark for law enforcement usage. CHC Helicopter, a trailblazer with the AW-139 since 2008, has logged over 25,000 hours, though it is gradually transitioning to the larger AW-189 for certain operations. Sourced predominantly from Leonardo's Vergiate facility in Italy, Deliveries have been strategically staggered. Military units arrived in 2021, while EMS SAR helicopters ordered in 2023 to 2024 are slated for late 2024 entry following local customization, ensuring alignment with both immediate demands and long-term planning. The AW-139's roles in Australia are as varied and dynamic as the nation's geography and operational landscape. For the Army, it serves as a versatile workhorse, supporting training, logistics, disaster relief, and non-operational transport, effectively bridging the gap left by the MRH-90's unreliability. 
the Royal Australian Air Force leverages its SAR capabilities to deliver swift, life-saving responses across Australia's expansive territories, from coastal rescues to inland emergencies. In the realm of emergency services, the AW-139 excels in medical evacuation and search operations. Life Flight's fleet, for instance, conducted 2,851 helicopter missions in 2023, many under the cover of darkness in Queensland's remote expanses, showcasing its night-flying prowess and robust design. Victoria Police harnesses its advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance suite for a range of missions, from high-stakes pursuits and surveillance to ensuring offshore safety along Victoria's rugged coastline. Meanwhile, CHC employs the AW-139 for offshore oil and gas transport, ferrying personnel and equipment to rigs in the Timor Sea and beyond, though its gradual shift to the AW-189 signals an evolution in fleet strategy. Deployed across the continent, from the military hub of Townsville to the police headquarters in Melbourne, the EMS bases of Queensland, and the offshore launch pad of Caritha, the AW-139's reach is both broad and deep. Recent operations further illuminate its impact. Army units supported training exercises and emergency responses during the high-risk weather seasons of 2021 to 2023. Life Flight managed a record-breaking 7,455 missions in 2023. And Victoria Police's fleet cemented its status as the world's most utilized law enforcement helicopter with 10,000 hours by, by mid-2023. The AW-139's influence extends far beyond operational metrics, profoundly shaping Australia and the broader Asia-Pacific region. Within Australia, it enhances military readiness, emergency response, and public safety, offering a level of dependability that outstrips alternatives like the MRH-90 and directly addresses the logistical challenges posed by the country's vast geography. Its economic footprint is equally significant, sustaining jobs through partnerships with Toll Helicopters, Leonardo Australia, and local maintenance providers, while fostering a skilled workforce in aviation support services. Regionally, Australia's robust AW-139 fleet, among the largest in the Asia-Pacific, sets a gold standard for helicopter operations, influencing neighboring nations like Malaysia, where the military has begun adopting the type and offering a blueprint for disaster preparedness in a region prone to natural calamities such as cyclones, floods, and earthquakes. This positions Australia as a leader in aerial response capabilities, enhancing its strategic role in Southeast Asia and the Pacific. 